Shoe fly just buzz on by, you used to buzz last summer. But with gulf spray, I'm here to say, a weaver put you on the bummer. Why roaches, skeeters, flies galore, I'm just the guy bugs don't adore. I'm a one-shot son of a gulf spray gun. They ain't no more. Look out, everybody. Here comes Jack Birch trotting up to the starting post. Yes, sir, Johnny. You better beware, too. I feel my oats today. Why, I'm as frisky as a cold. I'm hardly broken into the harness. Oh, whoa there, boy. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa nothing. I've got the bit in my teeth, and I'm going to run away with the Hamiltonian, Johnny. Yeah. I've always had a secret desire to be a horse and run away with that grand old trotting classic anyway. Uh -huh. You know, I have a lot of secret yearnings, and I... And I well, I sort of like a whole bunch of things you never even heard me talk about, Johnny King. Now you just listen. I like New York in June. How about you? I like a Gershwin too. How about you? I love a fireside when a storm is due. I like potato chips, moonlight, and motor trips. How about you? Hmm? I'm mad about good books. Can't get my fill. And Franklin Roosevelt's looks give me a thrill Holding hands in the movie show when all the lights are low May not be new, but I like it, how about you? About good books, can't get my fill. And Franklin Roosevelt's looks give me a thrill. Holding hands in a movie show when all the lights are low may not be new, but I like it. How about you? Hey, Johnny, I noticed you're wearing a little gold baseball on your watch chain there. Yeah, it's kind of cute. I didn't know you were a ball player. Oh, yes, Jack. I was on the championship team at Jerkwater High. Hey, that sounds interesting. Were you perhaps a catcher, pitcher, Harry Water, outfielder? No, 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 Jack. I was the golf sprayer. Golf sprayer? Mm -hmm. Why, there's no such position, Johnny. There was a Jerkwater. You see, our ballpark was located down by the big swamp. So? So, every time one of our men came up to bat, it was my job to spray golf spray all around home plate. So the batter could stop swatting mosquitoes and swat the ball. <laughs> well, say, that was a useful job, Johnny. Uh, why did you give it up anyway? Oh, hmm? On account of radio, Jack. You see, now, instead of just saving one man at a time from mosquitoes, I tell millions about golf spray. Gee. They use it and discover for themselves how easy and pleasant it is to kill mosquitoes the golf spray way. Say, you know, I believe you've got something there, chum. And so has golf spray, chum. Golf spray has the ability to kill mosquitoes quickly and efficiently. Gulf spray is easy and convenient to use, too. You just spray it as directed, and mosquitoes are killed by contact. Gulf spray is economical, too. The usual price for a full pint can or bottle is still only 25 cents. And a little goes a long way. So, friends, use gulf spray to kill mosquitoes and many other insects. Get gulf spray at your favorite store or good golf dealers. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken, and I hung my My sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away.
my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. So I'm your sunshine. Well, thank you, Jack. Oh, thank for you. the love of my king. Who said you were my sunshine? I wasn't singing to you, king. Well, you looked right at me. Well, I was looking right at your sunburn. It helped oh. put me in the mood for the song. Oh, and I suppose if you sang a song about midnight, you'd expect me to blacken my face and wear dark glasses, well, perhaps too. perhaps that huh? might be a very good idea, too. Oh, I see. And I'm going to do a song about stars a little later on, king. So mm. go away and sprinkle yourself with some stardust, will you? Say, what are you trying to do? Put me out of the show? Perhaps. Why, before I know it, your head will be as large as Mr. Clock's. Well, Johnny, I don't think you need to worry there. I have a special head shrinker I use every single time I wash my hair. Oh. But say, Johnny, you know, that reminds me. What's that? Uh, what are we going to do about Mr. Clock? You know, he's getting too uppity around here. Have you noticed him lately? Yes, I have. Why, he's getting so conceited he even wants to break into our dialogue right in the middle of the show. I know it, and you're right, Jack. His charm lies in his humility. Yeah. Mr. Clock's head swells anymore, we won't be able to use him at all. He'll be through. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I've got it, Johnny. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll give him a rival. A rival, that's what we'll do. When the show is over, instead of waiting for him to give me the time, well, I'll just look at my wristwatch instead. Hey, swell. Give him a rival. That's a stuff. Yeah, yeah. Make him jealous of the wristwatch. But, you know, say, I'd better get back to my knitting here. Boys, have you got a song you can uh, sort of recommend for baritone singing? Hmm? Something not too operatic? Ah, sounds very good. Let's try the rest of it, boys. But together, remember. <laughs> I'm a captain, jinx of the horse marines. I feed my horse on corn and beans. And sport young ladies in their teens. Door captain in the army. I teach the young ladies how to dance, how to dance, how to dance. Teach young ladies how to dance, for I'm the pet of the army. For I'm Captain Jinx of the Horse Marines, I feed my horse on corn and beans, and often live beyond my means, though Captain in the Army. Any time now, boys. The first time I went out to drill, the bugle sounding made me ill. The marching I have had my fill, and that won't do for the Army. The officers, they all did shout, they all did shout, they all did shout. The officers, they all did shout, oh, that's the cure in the Army. Captain Jinx of the Horse Marines, I feed my horse on corn and beans, and often live beyond my means. Though captain in the army, <laughs> though captain in the army. Oh, it's a good thing you sang that as well as you did, Jack, because my script says I had to tell you it was wonderful. Yeah, well, why didn't you tell me what your script said? Boy, oh boy, oh boy, if I'd have known what a chance I had to make a sucker out of you, King, I'd have cracked a couple of high notes and sung it worse than I did and hit you over the head with the pieces. Hey, Mr. Birch. <laughs> You stop abusing Mr. King that eight night. Mr. Clock. Mr. Clock, what are you doing here in the middle of the show? Now, you go right back where you belong. You're not supposed to come here until it's time for me to go. If it ain't the law, I won't do it. Now, that's the limit, Mr. Clock. I oh, wait a minute, Mr. Birch. Wait a minute. I want to ask you something. Oh, all right. Make it snappy. That's exactly what I want. Something snappy. <laughs> I'm too plain. The other day, I asked you to frame me in chromium. <laughs> You said no. Well, today I got another idea. <laughs> Did you ever see one of them cocks with a frame all around it, like gold metal rays, like sun rays, like a sunburst? Yes, yes, I've seen them. They're very handsome, very yeah. handsome. <laughs> well, uh, why can't I be framed that way? Huh? Uh, why can't I have solid gold sun rays shooting out all around me? Huh? <laughs> Can you afford it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'd have to pay for it, huh? <laughs> Well, well, I guess I'll be shooting back to buy time keeping here. Pay for it myself. Skate all week. Yeah, well, that settles noise. Mr. Clock. That settles him. From now on, I will use my wristwatch. Solid gold frames. Button in here when the show is only half over. Hey, come on, Johnny. Let's go into a corner and discuss this problem while the gang play their number. Incidentally, here's a little number by our organist, Johnny Gart. That fellow with the tickly toes there on the organ and the tinkly fingers. Hop to it, gentlemen. The mic is unconditionally and absolutely yours. Excellent. Exclusively.
Friends, these days when you're doing all you can to take extra good care of your automobile, your neighborhood good golf dealer is prepared to be of special service to you. There are a number of things he can do that will help make your car last longer. For instance, he can check your tires regularly to help give you more mileage from them. He can check your battery, oil level, and radiator, all of which can help conserve your car. Then, in addition, the good golf dealers is headquarters for those famous golf gasolines and oils and golf flex lubricants, which are made to help your car perform smoothly and economically. So stop at the sign of the golf orange disc and let your neighborhood good golf dealer help you to care for your car for your country. MPH composed by our organist Johnny Gard and played by the Golf Spray Gang. And now, now it's time for our memory song, friends. And, and today's song really has memories for nearly all of us, I think, because it's usually the very first song most of us learn. It's a favorite with most mothers, too. Singing their babies to sleep in the twilight. Here it is, and I think you'll like it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you Never mind, I've already looked at my wristwatch, and I know it's time to go home. Thank you just the same. Uh, a wristwatch? Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, I'm the official timekeeper around here, ain't I? A wristwatch? Bowie, hey, what are you pulling off of me anyway? <laughs> Say, I'll bet that gives him food for thought. And now it's so long, at least for a little while, friends. Your announcer will give you the next meeting date. And then this is Jack Birch saying thanks for your company. And, of course... Shoo fly just buzz on by. You used to was last summer, but with golf spray I'm here to say a weeper put you on the bummer. And this is John Reed King saying goodbye until next time. <laughs> I just buzz on by. You used to was last summer, but with golf spray I'm here to say a weaver put you on the bummer. Why roaches, skeeters, flies galore, I'm just the guy bugs don't adore. I'm a one-shot son of a golf spray gun. They ain't no more. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Jack Birch diving right into today's show without even so much as trying out the water first with his little bitty toe, just like that. After all, we know each other well enough by now to dispense with introductions, I think. Don't you? We are agreed. So here comes the first song, riding the crest of a great big old radio wave right at you. Keep young and beautiful. It's your duty to be beautiful. Keep young and beautiful if you want to be loved. Don't fail to do your stuff with a little powder and a puff. Keep young and beautiful if you want to be loved. If you wise, exercise all the fat off. 
I take it off, off, here, off, there. When you're seen anywhere with your hat off, have a Marcel wave in your head. Take care of all those charms, and you'll always be in someone's arms. Keep young and beautiful if you want to be loved. Exercise all the fat off, take it off, off of here, off of there. When you're seen anywhere with your hat off, have a Marcel wave in your hair. Take care of all those charms, and you'll always be in someone's arms. Keep young and beautiful if you want to be loved. Well, Jack, you seem to be in good voice today. If you want to be loved. Why, thank you, Johnny. You sound pretty good yourself. Oh, thanks. And you know, the Gulf Spray gang really sounds swell, too, you know? Yeah, well, you know, if they could talk, they'd say thank you, too. Just take a bow instead, gentlemen. Gee, now now maybe somebody ought to compliment Gulf Spray, Johnny. Well, it really isn't necessary because most everyone knows that Gulf Spray is good. They know, for instance, that it's easy to kill flies with Gulf Spray. And they know Gulf Spray is mighty handy to use. Just spray with Gulf Spray as directed, and it's goodbye, Mr. Fly. Yeah, I guess you're right, Johnny. Folks do know those things. Well, one thing some of them may not realize about Gulf Spray is this. The usual price for a full pint can or bottle is still only 25 cents. So Gulf Spray is really economical. Buy Gulf Spray today and follow the simple directions. That's the easy way to kill flies and many other insects. Get Gulf Spray at your favorite store or good golf dealers. When there's a breeze on Lake Louise, there on a cool Canadian June night, we'll drift away on Lake Louise, watching our dreams reflected in moonlight. We'll be alone on Lake Only stars to share our enchantment We'll kiss and then we'll do as we please When there's a breeze on Lake Louise Johnny, and you know, speaking of lakes, remember the fun we had a couple of weeks ago? You remember, don't you, when we went fishing through the magic of radio? Oh, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, that was a day, all right, boy. Oh, oh gee, where's why should we hang around the studio now? That's what I want to know. Say, what do you say? We'll ask the magic of radio to let us go camping out in the woods, sleep in the open. Uh, sleep in the woods? Yeah, yeah. At night? Why, sure, sure. But, but aren't there animals? Or, or maybe even animals? Oh, for goodness sake. Don't be afraid, Cat Johnny King. Shush, shush now. I'll just say the magic word. Oh, no, but Jack, wait a minute. Now, wait, don't, don't, don't say anything. Johnny. All right, I'm going to say it. You better watch out. Magic of radio, hear me. No, Jack, no, Jack. Let us go camping at night. <laughs> Kind of creepy here in the woods, ain't it? It, it, it? You're the one who wanted woods in the nighttime, not me. Oh, it's chilly, too. Hey, you know, maybe I can yeah, get a yeah. fire started if I keep on rubbing these two sticks together long enough. Yeah, yeah. Do they, uh, well, does it does it look like you're getting a fire, Jack? 
No, it looks like I'm getting four sticks. I rubbed these two long ones together so hard they sawed each other in half. Oh, well, never mind. I I'll wrap in this Indian blanket here. Get this around me to keep warm. <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> hey, Johnny, you look just like an Indian squawk. You mean an Indian squaw, don't you? I know what I mean. You've been squawking all night long about how cold it is and the animals and the... Oh! oh! Uh, Jack, what happened? I told you we shouldn't bring along that bow and arrow, Johnny. I knew one of us would sit on that darn thing. I didn't. I know, you didn't. Oh, oh Jack, now, look, now oh. let's be truthful now. We don't like this Indian camping stuff. Let's go back to the studio. No, sir, if you're scared, I'll sing you a lullaby, sonny. You see that little bunch of stars up there? Oh, I see lots of bunches. Oh, I mean that big bunch of stars. The Seven Sisters, that's what they're called. Now, I'll tell you, you just snuggle into your little blanket, Sonny, while I'll tell you all about their relatives, the Three Little Sisters. Now, you listen. There were three little sisters, three little sisters, and each one only in her teens. You see what I mean? One loved a soldier, and one loved a sailor, and one loved a lad in the marine. Oh, the three little sisters, they were the fairest from Iceland to the Philippines. So said the soldier, so said the sailor, and so said the lad from the marine. And when the boys marched away, said they'd be true until the boys came back someday. Now the three little sisters, three little sisters, stay home and read their magazine. You can tell it to the soldiers, to, to the sailors, and tell it to the marines. I'm scared of these woods, and I don't care who knows that I'm Why, scared. Johnny, for goodness sakes, woods are nothing but trees that kind of ganged up on each other. Oh, sure, sure. I bet you wouldn't know a pine from a peanut. I wouldn't. Listen, huh? I'll give you a lesson in how to tell one tree from two trees. Poplar trees are popular, see? Yeah. And all the maple trees are girls. Maple trees. Yeah, and all the oak trees are okie-dokie. Yeah. To continue, are you listening? Mm. I hope. The bay trees live in the bays, yeah. and the beech trees, well, they live on the beaches. The yeah. chestnuts live off the radio comedians, yeah. while the birches, of course, they live off me. Now, who says I don't that know much about it? That settles it, that settles it. That was the bitter end. Magic of radio, hear me. Take us back to the studio, but quick! <laughs> See, here we're back. All right for you, Johnny King, making me come back to this old studio. Now, Jack, you know, you're just as glad to be back as I am. Well, in a way, I am. I, I wanted to get some milk for this kitty. I, I kind of think she's hungry. What kitty? Why, this one. I found her out in the woods. That, that's no kitty. That's a skunk. Well, why doesn't somebody tell me these things, boys? Will you please play some appropriate music while I contact the SPCA? <laughs> If you have any problems connected with the job of keeping your car running for the duration, put them up to the good golf dealer in your neighborhood. He's equipped to help you in many ways, and he's glad to do anything that he can. He'll gladly perform such car services as checking your radiator, battery, tires, and other points. Then, in addition, he sells those famous golf gasolines and oils and golf flex lubricants, which are made to keep cars running smoothly and efficiently for a long time. So make it a habit to stop regularly at the sign of the golf orange disc. Let your neighborhood good golf dealer help you to care for your car, for your country. on down, played with the golf spray gang, and in the groove it was, gentlemen. Very movie groovy, I'd call it. 
And now comes an old song in a very contrasting tempo. I guess we all like to uh, sort of balance our song diet with fast rhythms and slow ones occasionally. Anyway, here's a lovely old tune. It's Annie Harrison's ballad, In the Gloaming. Gentlemen, if you please. In the gloaming, oh, my darling, when the lights are dim and low, and the quiet shadows falling softly come and softly go, when the winds are sobbing faintly with a gentle You don't mind, do you? You know, I think a wristwatch is a great improvement over the clock. Of course, I don't mean to be personal. <laughs> if you ask me, one mechanical contrivance on a show is plenty. Oh, you mean you want to leave the show, Mr. Clark? Oh, oh no. Uh, you, you wouldn't let me go, would you, Mr. Birch? Yeah, would well, you? we'll discuss this some other time, Mr. Clark. Right now, it's time for me to go home. So goodbye, friends. Thanks for the visit. Your announcer will tell you when we'll be back the next time. Until then, this is Jack Birch saying... You fly, just buzz on by. You used to was last summer, but with golf spray, I'm here to say, we've a put you on the bummer. Why, roaches, skeeters, flies galore, I'm just the guy who bugs don't fit the door. I'm a one-shot son of a golf spray gun. They ain't no more. And this is John Reed King saying goodbye until next time.